I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting for my wife to be in a video on this channel today. But what started? <laughs> Are you happy to be here? I'm really happy to be here. Thanks for having me, Nick. This actually is, really is my wife. That's a true story. We were watching Netflix. We were going to watch The Office. We're going through our second time of watching the whole entire series. We're like halfway through season eight. And I said, hey, look, Ray Romano, a new special. And I was thinking, we're not going to watch this. I'll put it in our queue. And my wife says, let's try it. So we watched the entire thing. And apparently we liked it because we watched the entire thing. It was we, good. Yeah, yeah. So we're watching this thing and, and it's pretty new. It, you know, it just started. And uh, we were trying to figure out how old he was. And I said, I think he's about 60. And my wife said, would you say like, oh, he has a lot of hair or something? Yeah. I said, he's, he's, he's got a lot of hair. Looks like, good. Yeah. You're like, yeah, there's no way he could be 60. And then that propelled the comment of he's got a lot of hair. So then uh, that led to me saying, well, you know, a lot of guys that you see on camera that are famous and have money, if, if you recognize they have a lot of hair, then they often they've, it's because they've had a hair transplant. We were watching the Super Bowl. Adam Levine of Maroon 5 is up there. He's a, not much older than me. He's like a, a year older than me. And my sources tell me he's had a hair transplant. A lot of the people in the, in the NFL. Your sources? Who are your sources? sources? <laughs> There's people who leave comments and tell me. They, they How teach do you know me. if they're right? Because then, if I'm curious, I'll Google image it and I'll look like Matthew McConaughey absolutely has had one. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't have known that. But when you it's Google image spent. it. Yeah. But when you, see, so that's what this video is <laughs> about. Because we were talking about that. Because you all know how I feel about hair, hair transplants. If that's what you want to do, do it. For me, I have no interest in that because if nothing else, if you get a hair transplant, you're going to have to commit to it because there's going to be some kind of scar that's going to be back here, to my knowledge. But if you have a hair transplant, it covers it, right? No, but that's the thing. They take the hair from certain parts and then you can't grow hair there. So if you eventually want to shave your head and have it like... Well, you're short, probably at some point going to lose the ability to, to grow hair there anyway. Well, no, because they do it in the part where you don't lose your hair, like right back here. Which is why it's weird for Donald Trump, because back in the 1970s hair transplants, they took the skin from back here. Oh, that's gross. Well, that's what they do. That's why there's that one clip of where he was at the helicopter and it blew the flap open. <laughs> which is why he wears the Make a Great, America Make, whatever his hats are, Make America Great hats. So, the conversation was... You, what did you say about hair transplant? You're like, yeah, I said, there's a good chance. If you have the transplant. money, you should. I mean, I, I'd be all for it. I mean, look at how good Adam Levine looks and Matthew McConaughey and Ray Romano, apparently. And what is it, Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> yeah, Bruce Springsteen. If He's, you have the money, why not? Yeah. And that makes you feel good. And especially if you're an actor or a movie star, like a singer, and you're in the, the limelight, people don't want to remember you without hair. I hope I'm not ruining your channel for I'm like losing subscribers. Like, I just lost 100 subscribers based on. <laughs> well, well, no, but see, this is no. I think, it, but but for like a regular Joe, it doesn't make sense because it's just. I mean, if you have the extra money, then fine, do it. But for somebody who's in like the entertainment industry, like that's how people perceive you. Even like looking at Ray Romano tonight, he's got a beard now. It's like you don't even recognize him. As you know, as it's, as who he was, so it's good that he still has the hair on his head, <laughs> just so you can recognize him. So I looked it up, and apparently he has not had a hair transplant. And part of the reason I knew that he oh. didn't know is because in his special, he's wearing a shirt and he's got his sleeves rolled up. I have I'm a hairy guy. He had no hair on his arms, and that's one of my theories. If you have less body hair, then uh, you're less. That's more likely that you're going to keep your hair most of your life. Hairy guys tend to lose their hair sooner in life. And so that, so, but what I, I checked it and there's no, nothing on the internet about Ray having a hair transplant. And he's, he's 61 by the way. So he happens to be the one of the people that just happened to keep us all his hair. But either way, that led to this conversation. And the reason that's interesting and actually very interesting to them. And that this is one of the reasons this will be one of the most popular viewed videos of this year because you're in it and you're telling your opinion, which goes against my own belief system. And they're already seeing the irony here. 
I'm a, you do know that I am officially in the entire world one of the most popular YouTubers that talks about hair loss. Did you know you that? You have person? the most videos probably of anyone Yeah, it's like well over 2,000. Who makes a channel like this. So I'm pretty sure I'm at least in the top 10 based on how many videos, like you said, and how many subscribers. With that being said, I'm known by thousands of people for being the guy who says, when I lose enough hair, I'm not getting a hair transplant. I'm not taking Propecia. I'm just going to shave my hair off. I'm at peace with that. That I'm happy about that. So it, so the irony is... And some people, I mean, people look good like that too, but... But see, here... But if I had the money, I mean, if I had the money, I wouldn't dress like I do. I would go and get my hair done all the time. I would look good all the time because I had the money. I don't, and I'm no one, so it doesn't matter. And you're saying, and because if your career basically depended on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So here's why this is so interesting, though, and seemingly ironic because they're hearing my wife say that she would get a hair transplant if she was a famous rich guy she's married to someone who's not famous but who sends this message that i would not get a hair transplant and i've even made videos saying even if i were rich and famous or if i was famous i still wouldn't really want to do it and so they're thinking so here's what they're thinking right now Okay. Can you get it? I mean, what they're saying is, well, if she would get a hair transplant, I bet she secretly wants him to get a hair transplant if he goes bald. So go ahead and... Honestly, I don't care. And honestly, we don't have disposable income like that to just throw on hair transplants. So I wouldn't... I think we could, for a, probably a clean $10,000... Yeah, but I could get a new floor for the house I knew she was for $10,000. And I do not want a hair transplant, and I do not want to spend any money on one. I, I'm even saying if someone paid me to get one, I still would be like, no. Nah. No, if someone paid for it, I mean, I, but honestly, I don't care at the end of the day. Yeah, and honestly, I think it's good for my channel that I don't do it because I want to be known as the guy who embraces this. I see balding as a masculine trait, and while there are plenty of famous rich guys who are preventing their baldness I'm not and I like that part of my identity but I I think that ultimately what we've done is we've opened up a, a door here in which a lot of people are still not gonna they're still thinking oh, I didn't leave in the comments you're like she wants him to get a hair transplant <laughs> like that's what's gonna happen but you know at the end of this I'm confident in knowing that either way I'm happy in who I am and I know that my wife loves me either way. Regardless. It, I say? just said regardless. Oh, you kind of mumbled with that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm just thinking like Adam Levine. I mean, it looks fine. It looks like it's real hair. So that would be a natural choice for him because he's in the spotlight. People are used to seeing him one way. Now, when he took his shirt off the other night, he probably could have gone to the gym a little bit more. So if you're not willing to pay for the transplant, <laughs> focus on the gym. Focus on what you can control. Well, but he did, he, I guess he, he did, but, or like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm really looking forward to the comments that are going to show up on this. And it's funny because it, for me, if I had disposable income, as we're saying, I would spend it on a personal trainer. I would be happy to spend money to just be in perfect shape. Like, to me, that's what I care about. I don't care about hair because that's I'm- It's funny that Kenny Chesney, that's probably Kenny Chesney's, like, philosophy. Because he's had a bald head for a long time and he could certainly afford to have hair. But it's probably been so long since he's had hair that people wouldn't recognize him if he did have hair. Yeah. yeah. So I guess it's, it's all about what you value. And for me, as an actual man, I value being in shape <laughs> an and being, man. <laughs> I'm an, you're not, I'm an actual man and I value being in shape and being healthy and going bald if it happens. But if you were a man <laughs> <laughs> and I had the money, I would go get that transplant. Okay. I have a feeling. I think my head's shaped weird anyway, so I wouldn't want to expose that. <laughs> so. Oh man. Am I just ruining? Because 
I filmed a video over the weekend <laughs> about this. About because a comment you have gonna, a weird head shape. Yeah, people say, "Hey Nick, what's the right head shape and the right face shape for it?" For a wear a hat. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna release that video after this one, and it's gonna negate what you said. Um, but I'm not the one who made the video, so it's okay. Oh boy. So, hey, this has been fun. We spent over 10 minutes already doing this video. I know, that's and it's just fun. opinions. We're not right, we're not wrong. Yeah, that's the thing. We're definitely not right. I love it when people say, well, you're a hair loss expert. I'm like, no, I'm a guy with a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't think I don't anybody on YouTube could be really called an expert. <laughs> Maybe an expert on BS, but no, I'm just kidding. Well, uh, I'm not denying that for myself. With that being said, Thank, I thank my wife for, for being Thanks for this having video. me on here, Nick. You know, this is our room, so and, and this is our camera, so anytime. And obviously, <laughs> I couldn't go to sleep while this was being filmed. That's why I usually film in the garage. Oh, it's warmer out there tonight. All right, may the comments begin, and we'll see what happens from there. Comments below.